like a, a relay up for them? Over? Absolutely, I'll do that now. Ripple Effect Expedition, Ripple Effect Expedition, this is Endeavor. Do you copy? Ripple Effect is all that is made. It's a celebration of all that is made, environmentally, historically, and culturally. Environmentally, the Gulf of Maine in general, and Casco Bay in particular, are resource-rich ecosystems, worthy of in-depth exploration. Kids have a natural curiosity that comes alive when they are literally placed within that environment through sea kayaking. It is very exciting to watch. I got involved because I love the natural world. I learned a language um, by immersing myself in the marine environment specifically, but also in the mountains and rock climbing and surfing and running and all kinds of habits that I was able and, and lucky enough to be introduced to in my life. Uh, I want to share that with kids. I want to share that with other adults who aren't finding that in their lives. It gives us all meaning to learn this language of the natural world. I uh, first got involved through volunteering, actually, which is, I think, the way most people get involved with Ripple Effect. Applied to be a guide the next summer and was accepted and trained and uh, watched my own uh, abilities and personality grow exponentially, I think. My first week of programming was the Youth Leadership Summit, and I had a, a student named Sebastian who came to us as a, a rough and tumble football player, a jock essentially, and it was an interesting experience to watch him through the week get to know his peers and get to know himself. It was probably the zip line because I was really scared and I just kind of ended up walking off of it and not even knowing. And my other favorite moment would have to be like coming out of my skin and like understanding that I don't, I can be myself around everyone and not be so scared of like pretending to be someone else. Yeah. Juan was eating those huge burritos that Joe made us and the other part would have to be finding myself. The Harvest Fest is sponsored uh, by Students from Maine Heard um, and also we sponsor Environment Maine, which is a campaign to reduce our dependency on oil, um, create alternative fuels, and create more efficient living spaces here in Maine. I've been involved with Ripple Effect for a couple of years now. Um, I started with their Youth Leadership Summit, um, and then I did a Give Back Week on the island working. And then this year, I did the Youth Leadership Expedition, and also worked for Ripple Effect as an assistant guide. And now continuing my uh, training and studies, uh, be taking a wilderness first responder course in the winter, and moving up on up to be a lead guide for Ripple in the future. The key thing for us as guides is to make sure that that transference happened. Okay, today I went kayaking and it was a great experience, but how does that transfer into my math class? How does that transfer into applying to college? Uh, and to bridge that gap for them and to say this is how it transfers and to have them look at things that way, the reflective part of the experience-based learning cycle is critical in their, in their learning and that's one thing that Ripple does extremely well uh, and that's part of why we've been such a successful program. I think the great thing about Ripple Effect is that our programming offers all youth an opportunity to explore themselves and to explore the wilderness regardless of their socioeconomic background, their religion, their race, their sexual preference. It's a chance for the kids to get out on the island and shed all of those constructs that they find um, in their traditional learning environments and just be themselves. We love Ripple Effect! Woo! I think out there, there are some whispers um, that may give us answers to some of our greatest challenges, both social challenges with other people on the planet and our very pressing ecological challenges right now in the world. We can all feel the changes that are happening around us and uh, we need to do something about it. What we need to do is educate 
our young people so that they can make the change, so that we can help them make the change.